What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we're heading right back inside that Coliseum with an absolute banger of a team that features Swift Swim Kingdra and Politoed. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, yo, get on top of that. I'm getting real sick of the people who are not subscribed to the channel. You guys really irk me. Click that big red subscribe button and join the community. But like I said, today we are rocking out with an amazing Swift Swim Kingdra team. And I feel like rain in this uh, format is really dominant it's really really strong there's no dynamax here so it's very very hard to change up weather unless you have a pokemon that can do it itself so without that i think switch from kingdra can just roll out here and dominate battles left and right but let's get into it let's get into today's team preview try to roll through it quick we got in the top spot the one and only kingdra doubles its speed in the rain it has mystic water as its uh item and then i forget its move set i forget its moveset let me check its summary for you guys let me check its summary we're rocking out with hydro pump that's what it is hydro pump draco meter ice beam for coverage and then we got protect as your last and final move this thing's eb is just absolutely boosted out in special attack and speed he's just there to do big damage and just get rid of every single pokemon next pokemon is going to be polito the one that who is there to pair up with the Kingdra to set the rain. We got the Drizzle ability alongside with Skull, Protect, Ice Beam, and Encore. Just to Encore some, uh, what is it? Some ally, or not ally, opposing support mod. So if they go into, like, say, a fake out or something along those lines, we can just Encore it, keep it in there, and just trap it inside that move. Third Pokemon on squad is going to be Togekiss. And Togekiss is phenomenal on any team. It has Follow Me to protect ally Pokemon. It can hit hard with the Air Slash, Dazzle, and Gleam, and then it has Protect. Alongside with its Scope Lens, this thing also has the, what's it called? The Super Lux, so you know it's going to be critting left and right and just dominating the battle from there. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Raichu. I feel like you cannot have a Swift Swim team without a Lightning Rod Raichu. That's going to be its ability, and then it's rocking out with this phenomenal move set of Fake Out for Flinches, Nelson for Paralyzes and Speed Control, Volt Switch to just pivot out and control the battle, and then Brick Break to Break Screens and for our coverage move. Its item it's holding is going to be the Focus Ash, so it can't be one that pretty similar or fairly normal item and move set for any single Lightning Rod Raichu. Next Pokemon is going to be a heavy hitting physical attacker. Our next two Pokemon should be heavy hitting physical attacker. And that is going to be Scissor over here. He's holding the Life Orb, obviously. That's the best item for him. Then he has X Scissor, Bull Punch, Swords Dance, Protect for an amazing move set. Can't go wrong with this. We've been using Scissor a lot on this uh, competitive ladder or in the Coliseum. And he's been just rolling out strong. He comes in the back end. He can be led. You can set up with him with Swords Dance. And legit, he just dominates every single battle. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be another heavy hitting physical attacker. That is going to be our lovely little Garchomp. It has Yachi Berry as an item. It has Protect, Sword Stance, EQ, and Dragon Call. Everything's pretty normal about this Pokemon. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. You know, this Pokemon's phenomenal. It's going to be able to roll in the battle and just do work and KO Pokemon left and right. Guys, if you want to see this team to its full potential, I'm going to be leaving that Poke Pace down in the description below. But let's get after it, yo. Let's get after it. Let's head right inside the Coliseum. Look to get some wins with this Swift Swim Kingdra team. You gotta love the Coliseum. This update is amazing. Every time I walk right into the Coliseum, I get right into a battle. There's no problems whatsoever. Our opponent did choose the rules, but he did good. He chose four Pokemon, so we're gonna lock in our Swift Swim team, and we're gonna get rolling out from here. But this guy's rocking a really cool team. He's got Lucario. He's got Weavile for Fake Out and Speed Control probably with Icy Wind. He also has Hitmon Top for Intimidate and another Fake Out user. And then he has Latias for Tailwind and Heavy Hitting Dragon Moves, and then Espeon and Rotom Heat. Okay, it's a pretty fast team. Pretty fast team. I feel like Raichu might have to be a lead, or we can go straight into Kingdra. But if we do go straight into Kingdra, then we're sitting here like a kind of sitting there. I don't know. Actually, we could go into Kingdra. That's the thing. If he goes Weavile, then he can kind of get after my Pokemon that way. But I kind of want to go into Raichu here. But I'm just going to go Polito, Kingdra. I feel like that can work out really, really well here. So I'm going to lead both of them. And I'm going to bring Kiss and Scissor. I think it's working out. Actually, I could. I am actually digging this. I'm actually digging something more like this. Nah, nah, nah. I was gonna say we can we can volt switch into Politoed, but I might want to lead my my Scizor and Togekiss. I feel like that can work really, really well here. A lot of big damage moves. We can get after the battle that way. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Yeah, I like that a lot. The reason I like that is because like Togekiss and Scissor kind of counter up onto the Hitmon Top, the Weavile, the Lucario, just the main leads that this guy's rocking with. So I really do like this lead. We can kind of just get after the battle that way and try to rock out and look for a win here in battle number one. But uh, it also counters up on a lot of us if he wants to set up China or try to get in there to set up a Tailwind. We can counter that up. So I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Let's see who this guy's going to lead. Let's see what he's getting rocking out with. Latias and Espeon. Okay, y'all. Totally cool by that. Espeon has inner focus. So that's fine. Right? I think it rocks in our focus. We're not even rolling out with our fake out mod. So we're going to roll out with these two Pokemon. I think we're sitting in a, such a good position here. 
I think I go straight into an Exeter, and I really want to go in here. I could follow me, but I might as well just go straight into this Dazzling Gleam. Actually, I'm going to take out this, this Espeon, right? He's going to outspeed me regardless, so I'm just going to go into a Dazzling Gleam. I was going to drop a follow me, but I just think we're... I just think we're thriving here. My only problem in this situation would be, like, say, Latios, where Latios has a, a coverage or fire coverage move. That's the only thing I'm scared of. But I think we should be fine. I, I just don't see it happening. I see us having the upper hand. It's a great lead for us. We might not even have to bring in our Swiss from the squad. Hopefully we do, because, you know, I really want to show them off. You guys seen plenty of Scissor and Togus across the channel in BDSP Double Mouse, but they're really good. They're really good. So it's just like, why not use them? Especially in this situation, I was just like, I have to lead them. I have to lead him here, especially for the first battle for today's video. I'm looking for a big win. I'm looking for a big win for you guys. But seriously, hopefully you guys have been enjoying the BDSP content. I absolutely love recording it, so hopefully you guys have been enjoying it. He's going to go into it. Ooh, light screen. Light screen. Good thing uh, Scissor is physical attacking. I do think that. And he's just going to drop a big old psychic into Tokus. Okay. Tokus should be able to soak that up. Ooh, I was going to say soak it up pretty well, but that did a lot of damage. Good thing we're going after that thing. Drops our special defense. Dazzling Gleam's going to poke out here. Uh, hey. Get a nice little crit on probably both of them, right? Maybe just one of them. Espeon. Yeah, not one on the Latias. And then we're going to exit her. This should just stop one, right? Get them all out my face. So we get rid of the Espeon. That's huge because that was a pretty strong special attack. He did some big damage even though we're bulked up in HP. We're going to take some life orb damage. We'll see who he throws out from here. And I'm thinking of just follow, following me. Having Tokyo soak up the shots and then getting after the Latias. Because I don't care if both of these guys go down in the next turn. As long as I can get this Lottie Ass out, out on the field, then we could be thriving with our Swift Swift Squad. So he brings out Lucario. He's probably going to go for a Bull Punch. I'm just going to follow me, right? I'm just going to do exactly what I just said. We're just going to follow me the shot. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. We'll let Tokus go down here. And Lottie Ass might be able to outspeed unless he's going for a Bull Punch. The Lucario. So his shot might come out before the Lucario, which could be nice. Which could be more beneficial to my scissor. Goes into a miss ball here. Oh, yeah, miss ball coming in hot, dude. Coming in hot. Miss ball coming in hot. What a cool move. This guy's using some really cool moves. He's gonna go next, and he's oh, we set up a sword dance. Okay, he is indeed setting up a sword dance. So we're gonna be able to take out you. Um, we might have to bring out King Dread and hard swap into Polyte. That might have to be our play. We access her across. We take out that thing, no problem. Let's get more. Hopefully the Lucario is not focus ash. That's my one problem because I'm pretty sure a nice lovely little hydro pump in the rain can take out that thing. So I'm gonna go into King Dread and then I'm, I'm thinking I'm just gonna hard swap into Polytoad, right? Hard swap into lovely little Polytoad. He goes in a Weavile though. He goes in a Weavile and he has. Actually, I'm gonna protect this turn and go into a Bull Punch, right? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I have to go into a Bull Punch here and go into a Protect onto my King Dress slot. Because we don't wanna hard swap and then him protect or him, uh. him fake out my King Dress. So I just think Bull Punch is gonna be the play. Actually, fake out does come out beforehand, so it's fine. I really do like this turn. Just in, just in case he wants to fake out the king. We have to say in here one more turn. And then if my scissor goes down, we'll take speed with the polytoad. So I'm with it all day, baby. I'm with it all day. Weavile goes for fake out, and it was not a king. So great play on my end. Great, great play on my end. Now we go into a nice lovely pull punch. I'm guessing this thing's sash, right? Hopefully it's not. It is sash. So that thing does come out with the sash, and he's chilling there. Okay. What's Lucario? Lucario, go into my Kingdra, please. Go into my Kingdra. Go inside or onto my Kingdra. Woo! We love to see it. We love to see it. Okay, so from here... Okay, our opponent quits. I was gonna say, we swap the Kingdra into Polytoad, we try to get rid of Lucario, and then we can bring Scissor in the back end and just pull a punch and win the battle. But this guy just turns off the switch, and we take battle number one. Let's get rolling here in battle number two, ladies and gentlemen. First battle went perfectly. We didn't really get to show off the Kingdra and Polytoad, but hey, I got out that Kingdra, made a big old protect, and made our opponent quit. So let's roll out with these Pokemon and get them rocking here in battle number two. But we're going up against a powerful team. Garchomp, Reggie Ice, Suicune, Zapdos, Heatran, and then Abomba Snow. Like, every other Pokemon is a legendary slash pseudo legendary, and then it's just Abomba Snow. But Abomba Snow is scary with the Ice Shard. Can definitely do me dirty, so I gotta watch out for that. Gotta watch out for that Pokemon. Okay, uh, who should I go into? I could go Raichu as a lead. Raichu's not a bad lead, but I don't, I don't really see him bringing the Heatran or the Garchomp. I just don't see it at all, right? Who do I see him potentially leading here? He has no Fake Out user, which is really, really good for us. I'm gonna go in with this lead. I feel like that can work out really, really well. Zapdos could be scary, and I could just hard swap in the Raichu. And then last but not least, I'm really liking Scissor. I am really liking Scissor. I don't know why, I just like Scissor. 
Suzor is just a menace. He is just a menace, but at the same time, it's just like, oh, I want to go grab chop. We're going to go scissor here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's lock in scissor. Let's have, hop into our second battle. Let's go back to back because that first battle was solid, yo. I, I knew the lead was going to be perfect with the scissor and Tokus, and we just rolled out from there. But I feel like this one could be good as well. He's going to go into these two. I'm cool with that. He has two ice po Pokemon. I think what's it called could be rolling with a, an, uh, what's it called? An electric move. I feel like what's called oh yes sir drizzle comes out second it's beautiful comes out second i'm i feel like reggie ice is rocking electric coverage move. i really do i don't know why i just feel like it does uh we could go into like ice beams and stuff but i feel like going maybe into uh what do i want to do here i think we just skull maybe look for a burn i could protect you but hydro pump could be our play the Draco meteor could ice beam let me get rid of this guy right here let me get rid of Reggie Ice here. I was gonna hard swap into my Raichu. Let's see what he does here. Hydro Pump connects, comes through. We definitely outspeed. Get off some big old damage. He might go into that grass move. That's why I kind of want to swap. That's some good, lovely damage here. He goes for an energy ball, and my boy should be able to soak that up, right? Yeah. Citrus Berry can pop, and we get rolling from there. Then I can hard swap into Raichu all day. Could just hard swap into Raichu. I don't mind. I do not mind. I do not mind. Hopefully, we get like a little burn on this thing. We're gonna scald up. Yeah. Send it that way. Give me a burn. Give me a lovely little burn. Give it to me, baby. Nope. And here comes Amnesia. Okay. This thing's gonna go for an Amnesia here and boost its special defense, right? Is that what it does? Let's see. Yeah, special defense raises sharply. And this thing has left damage. Okay, I was like, what is he, what is he, he doing for So I could double down from there. I could definitely double down. But I'm thinking of just hard swapping. Actually, I could Encore. I could Encore and then hard swap into... Into Scissor here would probably be my play, right? I do like that. I do like that. Just for the sheer fact is we can come in with super effective shots and just take him out. And just take him out. Plus, my boy should be able to eat up another energy ball, right? He's got to be able to eat stuff, right? Eat up. I love you. If everything worked out perfectly for us, we are going to encore this lovely little Reggie Ice here. And then I think we have to hard swap maybe into Raichu from here. Probably my play. He's going to be into the Amnesia. I can just bull punch him. Or he's gonna swap. So I might just pull punch onto that uh that Obama snow. Who do I take out? I can take out anybody from here. I think we take out the uh what's it called? I think we hard swap into Raichu. And we keep that rain for the back end and we just bull punch straight into you. I want it all day, because he's just boosting special defense. Like again, my scissor can just rip into that Reggie Ice whenever we want. So I'd rather target down onto the Pokemon that's doing damage to me at the point, which would be this Obama snow. So Polito is going to swap back. We're going to save our weather for later because, you know, we saw that King jump with full HP in the back end. And we're going to swap into the Raichu. This is going to drop a big old bull punch and we're hoping that this thing ain't focused on. Let's see. It is. Of course it is. Of course it is. So I can fake that out. I can do a lot. I can do a lot. I can do a lot. He's going to hang on with focus action and he's probably going to hit me with an energy ball. Or is he going to try to drop a blizzard? Let's see. He's going to go for an energy ball. My boy eats us up all day and we can just roll out from here. So he's gonna go for another amnesia, and this is at the time I'm just going to uh I could volt switch. I think I'm gonna volt switch back into King right here. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I know we outspeed him. I'm gonna volt switch, take out that Obama so, and then I'm gonna bolt punch, take out him. And I think we're sitting in such a good spot. Love it, I love it, I love it. I love it. So you're gone, and then bolt punch straight across this way. Look at these turns, yo. Look at these turns. Look at these turns, yo. Having some great turns. And then we'll have Raichu for a fake out in the back end, and we can save him for a late. This is a solid battle. This is a great battle here. Great, great battle. We actually kept this Reggie Ice from actually setting up, which is wonderful. Just dandy, just beautiful. And then we'll have Kingja out on the field with Rain going for how many more turns? Maybe one, I think it has one more turn. And if that's the case, I can hard swap Scissor and just set the Rain again and just go. I am with it all day. He's gonna end up with strong the Mama stuff. So who is he gonna go into that's gonna have to eat up this uh this full switch? Hopefully it's not Garchomp. It's gonna be Heat Train. Okay. This is where I bring out Kingja. That's beautiful. Full punch five through here. Yeah, later, dude. Later. We get to take out him, and we'll be able to take out, or not take out. We'll be able to uh, bring in our Kingja to do some work on that heat. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. If you thought I was going for a fake out or something, I'll take it. That's a decent amount of damage too. So we swap back. Got to bring out that Kingja. Got to bring out the Kingja. And at this point, I think I might just read the hard swap, right? I might just read the hard swap. Unless he goes back into Obama Snow from here. Let's see. Unless he goes back into Obama Snow, but I do not think he's going to do that. I might be able to read this Protect. He's going to throw out his final mod, I'm guessing. 
and it's gonna be Suicune. So I have to guess. The, I have to read the protect, right? I have to read this protect. Or do I not? All my moves are not very effective. I really want to drop a trick immediately, but at the same time, I can't right now. He's gonna protect, but I'm still gonna drop a shot into him. Probably gonna tailwind. So at this point, you know, I'm just going to uh, go into a lovely little sword dance. Actually, I shouldn't have went into a sword dance. And he doesn't protect, yo. That's amazing. He does not protect. So good thing I did go into that sh that slot. Get out of here, Heatran. Get out of my face. Thank the Lord, man. I was just like, I have to. Like, if he protects, he protects. That's fine by me. He's gonna call mine. I'm gonna sword dance. That's GG's. That is G to the G's. I'm gonna drop a Draco meter into that Suicune slot. Even though he's boosting his special defense, I feel like we just have to get off as much damage as we possibly can. You know. I feel like that's a must. We're gonna sword dance up. Cling, 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 cling. Let's roll out. And I think rain does stop, which is kind of tough for us. Rain does stop, right? The rain has stopped. That's why I wanted to give this thing the, the damp rock, but I feel like five turns is plenty, especially for being speed doubles. So I was just like, let me give this thing the citrus berry, probably work out a little bit better. Plus, when we play like how I've been playing, where I can just swap out, kind of control from there, it's really good. So I'm thinking of just dropping a Draco Meteor here. And then just taking out. Yeah, Draco Meteor's probably playing, and then just pull punching and finish it off with the bomb. So, and making it a 4v1. He just cancels the battle anyway. And yo, let's keep rolling here, yo. 2 0 for today's video. Let's go grab ourselves a perfect record. Let's see if we can do it for the Jeans Online Gamer Community, baby. Looking for the perfect record for you guys. Propping into our third and final battle. Going up against a Gladios and Latios team with Nido Queen, Hit my top for Intimidates, and then he has the big boys, Scizor and Tyranitar. Gotta definitely watch out for both of them. But I feel like King Drip and Politoed could definitely get some work done from here. Intimidate doesn't affect both of them. We have the ice moves for that Latios and Latios. So I really, really do like that. And it will be super effective onto the T-Tar and the... Uh, Nido Queen as well. So yeah, let's rock out with these two. Definitely, definitely not too. We gotta bring it in our guard chop just in case he wants to go into that T-Tar. We kind of get ripping from there. And then I really want Togekiss. But Scissor does scare me. Scissor is a huge threat. So we might have to go Scissor against Scissor in order to win this one. I like it kind of a little bit. But Togekiss just does so much work up against the Hibotop, the Latios, Latios, and the Tyranitar. I gotta bring it to Togekiss. We gotta lock in Togekiss, and we gotta watch out for that Scissor. Because I feel like the only way we lose this battle is if he if he gets rolling with that Scissor. Because Scissor is an absolute menace. Dude's an absolute menace. You guys have been seeing how much work we've been doing with our Scissor. Opponents can do the exact same thing. So, let's lock in our team. Let's see who this person is going to roll out with. This dude has 20 seconds left. Pick your team, dude. Pick your team. I want the perfect record. I want the perfect record. Because I've been having a lot of fun with BDSP. I feel like it's, it's just a different change of pace from Sword and Shield. Like, we've been playing Sword and Shield now for how long? Like, two years about? Wow. 2019, I think that game. 2019 it came out. It is 2022. We're working on year three right now. We're working on year three. I think we're like two and a half years through, uh, or a little bit less than two and a half years through uh, Sword and Shield. And this is just a great change of pace, so I really do enjoy it. I really do enjoy it. But he's going to go into Latios, or Latios, alongside with uh, Hit My Top. So at this point, I think he's just going to set up a Tailwind and uh, fake out my Kingdra. So you know what? I'm just going to Encore onto that Hit My Top and keep him into that fake out. I think that's definitely going to be my play. Right? Or I can Encore him into a Tailwind, which I would totally rather. I'm just gonna protect it. I'm just gonna encore that thing into a lovely little tailwind. Because, like I said, he's gonna fake out. He's gonna set up the tailwind all day. All day long. He's gonna fake out my Kingdra. He's gonna be like, hey, yo, let me set the winds. And then I'm just gonna leave that thing into a tailwind. Because I'd rather encore a Latios instead of a Hit on Top. Because if Hit on Top's made the swap out, if he swaps out, that means he gets another fake out. Means he gets another Intimidate. And I have a good old physical attack with Garchomp in that back end. So, I'd rather fake out that big old attack of that Latios right now. So let's see what happens here. Protect comes out from my Kingdra. And if I had to guess the fake out is going into Kingdra, right? Block. Show me the tailwind now. Show me the tailwind. She's just too smart. Just for... Oh, wow. Wowzers. We encored him into a Thunderbolt. Son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit. Okay. Uh. Huh. What should Jeans do from here? What should Jeans do from here? I totally thought he was going to go into Tailwind. Well, now he can't go into a Tailwind. Which works really well. Now I can just probably drop an ice beam, right? Protect this boy. And protect this boy. Only if we had our lovely little, uh, our lovely little Raichu. He's going to hard swap and hit him on top. And that's exactly why we did not He's probably going to hard swap anyway. He's going to drop into a T-Tar and change up weather. Good call by him. Great call by him. He might dump on me. I'm ter Actually, he can't. He's on court in a Thunderbolt. 
He's encored in the Thunderbolt. We're just going to protect and my heart swap next turn. Let's see what happens here. He's going to go for Thunderbolt. Block, baby. All day. Big old block. And now, then I can just swap into Garchomp, which would be lovely. He's just going to use Ice Beam. Yikes. Send it that way. Bill, give me a freeze. Give me a freeze. We could drop Draco Meteor and just taking it out, but I didn't want to drop my special attack that early. So from here, we're just going to Thunderbolt yet again. Oh, not Thunderbolt. We're just going to Ice Beam yet again and swap into our, uh, our Garchomp from this beam and then we are just going to our swap training guard chomp hopefully he goes or he keeps uh, targeting down my polytope with a thunderbolt because now we're going to it into a ground pokemon which we can just soak it up and then we can have speed control up against that uh that tyranitar but if we do take out latias or latios he's just gonna go straight back into uh into hit my top you know for a fact and the thunderbolt does come into guard chomp so that's a lovely turn by us this means gonna fly in here get it rolling we'll later okay so latios out we've taken it out he's now gonna go the t-tar and we'll see what he does probably rock slide maybe let's drop here yeah rock slide pops that's totally fine my boys say ayo hey, that's a tasty snack we're gonna eat that up all day long we're gonna eat that up all day long buffets come out here we do have rough skin which is nice right this is a rough skin i believe it's a rough skin gotcha. not sand bell bit of sand bell that might be better that might be better because you know the sand is out and about hmm Let's see what he what he does for me. I could hard swap into my toe because I could go for EQs. But again, I think he just goes straight back into hit my top here. And we can just protect your guard chop or we can swap into a different Pokemon. It's at the rain. Let's see. Let's see what he does here. He goes into Nita Queen. It's totally fine. This point? Who do I take out? Who do I take out here? I should pump it into somebody. Big T Tar's bigger threat, right? Nita Queen's scary, but T-Tar's definitely a bigger threat. So we're going to swap back into Polytope. We're going to take Weather Control, and we're going to roll out with it with the Swim Squad. The Swim Squad, baby. I'm surprised he did not go into him on top there. That That's actually... That baffles me. That baffles jeans, baby. That baffles me. That would have been 100% what I did. I would have done. You got you to gotta pose that fake out, right? Hydro Pump's going to poke through here. This should be able to take him out. Super effective stab. Mystic Water on top of that. T-Tar, get on out my game. Get him on out of here, yo, Jeans. is driving in BDSP, dude. I love recording BDSP. I absolutely love it. He goes into the Ice Beam. We had a Yachi Berry anyway. Holly Toad says, licks his fingers. That's Tasty Snack. And yo, two opponents quit in today. Two. Not one, but two. We grab ourselves a perfect record. It's easy. It is just easy. It's official, guys. The Pokemon company just emailed me and said, I have to stop playing battles in the Coliseum making too many people quit too many kids cry it's just awful it is just awful but yo three and oh for today's video cannot go wrong with that grab ourselves a phenomenal perfect record and got the uh showcase this team to its fullest potential we had the swift swing squad showcase them they were dominant kanjo was doing mad work we got the encores with the polytoad polytoad was there to set the rain and then we got to use every other pokemon right yeah we got to use tokus raichu scissor and even garchomp even though garchomp didn't go for a move he actually, uh, we swapped him in at the perfect time to dodge that Thunderbolt. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.